Hi friends, today I am going to show you how to use the RIS command in the PowerShell. So let's go to the PowerShell first. Yep. Yeah, first we can just go to the help command of the RIS command. Oh, get RIS. So these are the help content of the gitarize command and let's check the help command for set alias and these are the syntax the synopsis and the descriptions of the help command. So get alias get alias is used for assigning a short version of a command which you are using in your current session of your power shell. So this is the get alias is used for getting the aliases from the current session of the PowerShell and the set alias is used for assigning the short version of your command that is a command let in your current version of the PowerShell that is the current session of your PowerShell so only in current session those aliases will be used and the default aliases will be used throughout your PowerShell and if you want to set the short version of your commands in your powershell you need to create your profile in your windows so that you can use the aliases by default throughout your execution with the help of the profile so let's go to the online version So for the online version of the help content you need to have a valid internet connection first then only you can go to the online version that is it will direct you to the Microsoft website. So this is the online help content of your git alias partial command and here you have a detailed description about all the definitions of the parameters and the syntax everything you can have so let's go to the help so these are the helps which was given the partial so at first what I'm going to do is I'm just going to execute the get alias command so I'm just going to execute get alias so it will by default shows you all the alias command which was in built in PowerShell. So if you see, you can have all the RS commands that is CD is used for set location, cat is used for get content, and zero is used for clear the host, and so many things was given in the get alias. So if you want to For example, I'm just going to see a particular commands alias. So you just need to exit type the command set content just and just a minute. So I'm just going to QSL. So the SL was set for the command set location. So if you want to set the alias for a particular command, you need to go to set alias. So if you just execute command, it will ask for some parameters to be given. That is the alias which you are going to give and the command which you are going to assign. So let's go to the help version online help version
So these are the descriptions which are given for the set alias command in the Microsoft. So there are so many commands. I'll just execute some basic commands which will be useful for you. And here I'm just going to execute this command. So what it does is, I'm just going to give a name that is the short version of your command, that is the alias name and the value, that is the command which you are going to execute if this list is typed and entered, this command will be executed. I'm just going to hit enter and now I'm just going to list. So if you see command was executed like that what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to type DD or just I'm just going to type ticket it's my exit name and the value which I'm going to give is get process so if I type this command and hit enter then the get process command should be executed so let's check it out I'm just going to type take in so if you see the process has been executed the get process command has been executed and let's check whether It was shown in the alias hk here. So if you see here, the alias taken was assigned to the command get process. And I will also show you the previous command list. If you see here, the list was executed to the get child item. So this is how you will use the get alias and the set alias command. Let's execute some more examples like yeah so this command will open the notepad that is the NP that is I'm just assigning a program as an alias that is for NP I'm just going to hit enter and I'm just going to type PNP that is a notepad a short version I'm just going to hit if you see the notepad has opened so this is how you will use so PNP was assigned for a notepad application now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close the partial I just close and I'm, and I'm going to open it again now let's check whether those commands are still in use. Going to hit enter. If you see, we are showing here. Means this command cannot find a matching alias. So only for the press current session of your PowerShell, those aliases will be used. And I'm going to type list. It was also not working. So it was showing this command cannot find a matching partial alias and for picking so it was also showing the same error like the command cannot find the matching alias and also we will check the get alias command by executing and checking the default values so it will be displayed in the alphabetic order so it will be easy for us to trace that command so np does not showing so yeah it was not showing the list was not shown here and the taken will not be available here this list so this is how you will just execute the 
set alias and the get alias command and I think it will be useful for you the set alias and get command the description which I have been given so thank you for watching the video and if you like this video just subscribe the video and I am just going to proceed with more and more partial tutorials and also the server tutorials uh, once again thank you for watching the video